Good morning, travelers. It is day four of our celebration cruise, and we are in Amber Cove, which I have not been to. I slept in today, and then I was editing this morning, so I've been sort of lacking in getting out and about. Um, I am going to go out to the port and in investigate all the fun things that they have built here because they've done a lot of investment in this port and uh, and my plan was just to sort of knock around the port and then maybe go swimming because uh, they have a good sized pool and just kind of have a quiet day and enjoy myself. I'll let you know how it goes.
fellow travelers. It is the end of day four and we have left Amber Cove twice. I'll explain. <laughs> so go back to the beginning. Amber Cove was great. Uh, I was able to go out to the pool and all the other fun stuff there. And that port really, they've done a lot of work with just the immediate port area. So there's quite a bit to do and you don't have to leave the port if you don't want to and it's included. And so you know, if you're on a budget, that's a really good option. The pool was large. Uh, there's a swim up bar. There is also a, a zero entry pool that's shallow and uh, was very popular with the kids. And then there was also a kids play water area as well. That was also, of course, very popular with the kids. <laughs> and then there was, let's see, there was a basketball court as well. Um, there was zip lining that was very popular. I saw people going over head quite a bit because you actually go like over the pool area. And there were cabanas that were on the water, uh, not the pool water, but the ocean. And what else was there? There was, of course, a lot of shopping available. There were, there was a restaurant with a bar and then I think there was just a bar in another area. Might have been like a, yeah, there was also a cafe. So yeah, there was a lot of different facilities and things to do. And then there was also, of course, all the tours you could take in Amber Cove as well. And so that was, that was a good time uh, just in the port bumming around. And there are, you know, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a trek. It's not as bad as some ports, but it's, you know, it's not the shortest pier in the world. And they do have the guys with the, basically the bicycle carts and they work for tips and they will take you, you know, one direction. And, uh, and I used it in both directions cause it was hot. <laughs> it was a toasty day. And you know, this is the end of November and it's still pretty toasty out in the Caribbean. So yeah. Anyway, um, so after that, I came back and I had Thanksgiving dinner in the main dining room. Uh, they have, I guess, multiple main dining rooms. One, the one I was in was called the Festival Restaurant. There's also the Carnival Restaurant. Anyway, I believe they both have the same menu, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. So yeah, I did mention that uh, we were in port twice. Uh, when I was at dinner, the cruise director, Lee, came on and he said that one of our guests was having a medical emergency and they were going to have to turn around and go back to port and let them off so that they could get treatment and uh, that they would let us know if it was going to impact our itinerary, but in the meantime to keep them in our thoughts and prayers. And so hopefully whatever the person's uh, issue was that they recover completely and, and that they get through this because boy, having a medical emergency on a major holiday when you're in a foreign country has got to be tough. I really hope they have um, travel insurance. So we went, we dropped them off, and we left again. So Lusu signing off.